Hey FG kids, I'm so excited to be with you today. Today, we are gonna keep on talking about faith. That's right, we're gonna talk about faith again this week. Last week we learned about faith through the story of Jesus walking on water, and we're gonna do the same thing today. However, we're gonna be talking about another one of Jesus's miracles. Not just one miracle, but two. We're gonna talk about both times that he calmed a really big storm. Think about that. He's so awesome, he's so miraculous, and he has so much power that he calmed two huge storms, not just once, but twice. So that's what we're gonna be talking about. You can find these stories in Matthew chapter eight, verses 23 and 20, um, through 27, and in Mark chapter four, verses 35 through 31, or 41, I'm sorry. Anyway, so let's get on with the story. So. In these stories, Jesus and his disciples decided to go and hang out on a boat. They were doing boat things. They were fishing, hanging out, getting where they were going, just chilling. Everything was perfectly normal. Everything was calm on the sea until out of nowhere, a big, huge, scary storm comes and it starts rocking the boat this way and rocking it that way and then big clouds in the sky that are so dark come and eat up the sky so it's dark it's gloomy it's scary the boat's rocking back and forth and these huge giant waves are coming over the boat and the disciples are there and they're so scared they're gonna drown. They're so scared that these waves are gonna take them over and they're not gonna live. Well, while all this was going on, Jesus was taking a nap. Can you believe it? He was on the back of the boat, both times in both cases, and he was sleeping. And the disciples ran up to him and they said, Jesus, Jesus, wake up. We need your help. Are you gonna let us drown? And both times Jesus got up and he said, be still to the water and it stopped. The storm completely cleared. The waves became so silent and still. And he looked at the disciples and said, did you not have faith I would take care of you? You see, just like in, our, just like in this story, in our life, sometimes we have big storms. Sometimes we can have really big problems come our way and we don't know what to do and we're really scared and we feel like we're on a boat and that we're sinking. But then if we have faith, God will come and he will take care of us. He always does. He's never going to leave us and he's never going to let us sink. He's never going to let us drown. He's never going to leave us when we're in trouble or when we have a big problem. So just like in last week's story, having faith in God is so important. If you remember in last week's story, Peter stepped out on the water and he said, Jesus, if that's you, let me walk. And he had faith and he took a step and he started walking. And then the moment he started to doubt God, the moment he started not to trust him, he started to sink. Just like in this story, the moment they went to Jesus and said, Jesus, we need your help. He calmed the storm and he took care of it all. And he will always do that for you as long as you have faith in him. All right, now it's time for our memory verse. Our memory verse is the same as last week. So let's see who can remember it. It was a little bit of a long one, but that's okay. We're gonna make sure it sticks in our mind because it's so, so important. It was Hebrews 11:6. Without faith, no one can please God. Anyone who comes to God must believe that he is real and that he rewards those who truly want to find him. All right, we're gonna do it one more time with the moves. Let's see if we can remember the moves, okay? Without faith, no one can please God. Anyone who comes to God must believe that he is real and that he rewards those who truly want to find him. All right, let's go through that one last time to make sure it sticks because this is a really important verse. Are you ready? Without faith, 
no one can please God. Anyone who comes to God must believe that He is real and that He rewards those who trust in Him and truly want to find Him. Hebrews 11:6. All right, FG kids, that's all I have for you today. I love you all so much, so let's bow our heads and close our eyes so we can pray out. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for every FG kid watching this today, God. God, I ask that you surround us with your angels and protect us during the week. Ordain our footsteps in our path and bring us all back together safely next week, Lord. Thank you so much for helping us have faith in you and making it so easy to trust you, God. In your precious holy name I pray, amen. All right, that's all I have. I love you guys, and we'll see you next week.